Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 AD Siege Battle for you today. And this is a 2v2 uh, between the Gurid Sultanate and the French uh, Kingdom, well the Kingdom of France, against the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the uh, Electorate of Trier. So it's just a nice 2v2 that we did with some of the uh, members of the Discord. So if you want to take part in some of these battles, then do join the Discord, which is going to be in the link in the description down below. Um, it also allows you to f show off your own replays there, which they may, may feature on the channel. But yeah, so we have a nice little 2v2, and uh, it's got a very close ending, so definitely worth sticking around to the end to see what happens. So, as we are, uh, you can see there's already some towers coming down, some troops being killed by the towers, that's really big uh, for us. We've got to get those extra kills, so we've got like 20 foot turkopoles already dead, excellent. Excellent sort of stuff. I think I'm knocking down a, a fort wall over here, but it's just basically going to be a, a skirmish phase to start with. So I'm just going to fast forward through this while the uh, skirmish phase is happening. And uh, just have a look at some of the armies that are going on right now. So we've got, uh, obviously, Pavi's crossbows, a lot of them. We've got some uh, elect Elector uh, Saraten. Uh, we've got a Cowpult. That'll be very good for end game uh, for the defenders. We've got Elector Halberdiers. We have uh, more Pabby's crossbows. What we've got here, here? Trier swords. Obviously, like the classic main infantry. We've got Order Swordsmen as well. We've also got Halberdiers for uh, Jerusalem. Baron's bodyguard. Um, and that's kind of really it. I mean, there's some spears over here as well. We've got Trier, Pabby's uh, spears. And yeah, that's kind of that is kind of it really. And, uh, right, let's have a look. What were the Gurus bringing? They're bringing some Rajputs. We've got Nafatoons, of course. You can't have a battle without the Nafatoons appearing. Um, we've got a Matchlock War Elephants. So They'll be very nice to see on the battlefield. Uh, we've got a General here. And we've got some uh, Spears. And that's kind of really it. Some Royal Payx. And then France is bringing dismounted French Chevaliers, obviously. They're going to be uh, pretty tough to break through. With their big, strong axes. We've got a uh, sergeants here, again another strong unit, and then we've got some we've got some Zen gentiles and some uh, gendarmes, which is kind of surprising. We've got Joan of Arc as well. And what we've got on the walls here, we've got sergeants again, just lots of sergeants by the seems of it. But the walls are down now, and there's now a breach being opened up by the French. I think I've still got a little bit more time to open mine up. I think I my cannon was not really firing at the right spot. I'm not sure, but anyway. Uh, looks like the French are going to be storming through the breach. They're also about to come onto the wall. And we will uh, see the first engagement. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, these units are very much out of position. No need for them to be over here now. Lots of water swords. We sent over to the far side now. And here we go. They're landing onto the walls. And here come the sergeants, the first wave of sergeants. And they've got to face uh, some, I think they're facing some Knights Templar. Whoa, okay. I mean, that's definitely, since this is a, uh, these are a tier 3 against a tier 1, these could be pretty, pretty hard to break through. But they are actually quite well chevroned up. So, who, who will know? They may do okay. But here we go, it looks like the first engagement's about to start with the Gurids here landing onto the walls. We've got some uh, Trier Swordsmen. Oh my gosh, what a hit. The tower destroying uh, and killing quite a lot of men. A lot of Pavi's crossbows died there and quite a few uh, Trier Swordsmen died. Not Trier Swordsmen. Uh, I think they are actually. They might be Trier Swordsmen. Sword infantry they are. They got a lot of people basically put it like that. And here we go. The Raj puts her down. And the first engagement has begun. The Ra um, yeah, the Rajputs in this is a bit strange that they are called the Rajputs since they are from Rajputania in India, and this is a nation that's in like it's in like what is sort of Iran, almost Pakistan. So uh, kind of a bit weird that they've got this name, but it kind of works. Oh, this is risky though. This uh, Gurid unit is very close to the breach in there. Oh, yeah, that's a big risk. I don't know how much. Yeah, ninety percent. I was like, get that unit out of there. 
But these are silver chevron. These are pretty nasty. But they're still uh, they haven't got much armor. They're trying to they're coming down the wall now, and they're going to fight these uh, Trier swords. And we're getting units ready in position, ready to breach through. 97%, one more. And look at this. I've got a nice little sneaky unit around here that's going to go and capture some... Uh, I don't actually know what's going to go and capture. Probably just take uh, this... Like, hold this uh, flank for me. But there we go. The wall is down here. And it's an extra big breach uh, because the one for the corner. So I guess that's why it took more. I've got very little ammo left. And here we go. I've now got my uh, Afghan archers firing inside as well. Firing at the uh, Pavi's crossbows. I'm surprised it wasn't doing much damage because they're like firing above, so it's actually like hitting the uh, Pavi's crossbows in like the head and do should be doing some damage, you would have thought. Here come the Raj puts. I'm kind of waiting to see when they like come storming in over that breach there. That'll look really nice actually. Oh, we've got some uh, more Trier Swordsman coming in. They're trying to surround this unit of uh, Rajputs. Not a bad idea, to be fair. And here we go. The Rajputs are coming inside the walls as well. And surely they're going to go in and flank. Oh, the Trier Sword Infantry is going to pull out. Not a bad idea. Avoid that flank. And here we go. That unit of Rajputs is now losing. Just, uh, I was going to say decisively, but it's not. Oh, we've got some cavalry now. Got some uh, Elector Sarantain coming in. And I've got my uh, my uh, Rajput's getting ready. Hold the line. They're going to charge. They're going to commit to the charge. They are. Oh. Artillery following in as well. And that hit their own cavalry. So that's a bit unlucky. That did actually a lot more damage than the infantry ever would have. They only killed a few infantry. And then I've got sending in my uh, Rajputs here to try and catch them, but no, not going to happen. So we've got that area sort of locked down now. Um, with a few losses, um, more artillery coming in though. So I'm going to have to be careful there. And the first units of Trier are now starting to break. On the French side, what have we got here happening here? Well, the sergeants are having a bit more tough time breaking through this choke point here, it would seem. These uh, Templars, as always, are going to hold the line for their holiest of orders. For God. Even though they're fighting fellow Christians. Which reminds me, they're actually fighting France. So if you haven't checked out the Templar series, and I do recommend you go and do so. I'm sure I'll leave a link to it at the end of the video. Um, it's a really good series. It's uh, coming into its final stages now. Um, so if you want to check it out from the beginning, I do recommend you do so. It does look like the French have uh, finally broken through those Templars. They've finally given up. 40 of them left. Uh, they're actually not going to hold the choke point. Um, I kind of can see why, because this has been compromised. But they could really contain France. And here, France is not making any effort to go through this choke point. And then he could capture this gate. Like, I mean, he's over here at this one as well. I have, He sent more stuff down. I sent a unit of Gurids down as well to help. Or the Rajputs, I should say. I think I meant for them to flank around here and then come down, but they didn't do that. And I've got some uh, Royal Pikes up there. I'm presuming it's like Pikes, Pikes. But yeah, I realised that you couldn't come down after the tower got destroyed. And that's what my ally did, and I kind of got a bit frustrated that he did that. It kind of like ruined my plans. But there, the cavalry charged in again, and it is going to rout. I like to Saratan, and it's routing. I don't think they've got any more cavalry. Uh, they've got their generals, um, but they've got no more cavalry that they can try and do some sallies with. They are going to use their artillery, I'm sure, to full effect. And now we've got uh, the first obstacle. We've got some Pavis spears. This could be an issue. So I've got my Rajputs ready. The Rajputs should really break through this line. Um, because this is actually not a good formation to hold. Um, if you're wanting to hold against infantry. This is good for missiles, yes. Um, but when actually infantry come and clash in, you won't get many kills doing this. You're better off uh, making the shield wall formation. But there you go, the gates are opening up. My archers are coming inside and I'm going to start firing. Oh, the cavalry actually got out here. But uh, it's so weak that I think my Afghan archers are probably going to be okay. They might lose a few men, but they should be okay. Yep, they're, they're running as the cavalry. 
Yeah, fully shattered. That's good because my all my nasty stuff's out here. Like my artillery, my elephants, my... Uh, oh, the elephant shot. I'm just pretty sure they fired around, didn't they? Or was that the cavalry? Oh, no, it's the cavalry. The cavalry's firing arrows at them. And the elephants are coming in as well. But yeah, I pretty much got in, in pretty unscathed. I lost a few like bat a few battered units of uh, Rajputs, but nothing too bad. We've now got uh, some crossbows that I've caught here. This is huge. A uh, massive loss for the defenders, but a massive win for us. This crossbow unit would have been really nice for the final defense. It's just got, I like the Gurid banner, it's just plain orange. So, what shall we make our banner for war? Plain orange. They will shake at the sight of our plain orange banner. Oh no, the plain orange man's dead. No. Someone else pick up that basic banner. Oh, it's dead over here as well. Ah, uh, clearly it's a... It's not that scary then, because people get cut down with it. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the French are breaking through. I'm over here with my small unit as well of Rajputs, but... Yeah, they're doing okay. These, uh, gendarmes are now getting around. They're gonna surround these, uh, Templars. Holding the line, I like that. Holding the line. Like, I think the Templars are probably by far and away one of the best tier 1 units you can bring. Um, I'm sure there's some other, like, like the hi hybrid ones are pretty good as well, like bows and swords. But the Templars, as a straight up infantry unit, got to be one of the best around. Especially when they've got a few chevrons as well. Especially when they have a few chevrons, they'll do some nasty work. But yes, it looks like the French have well and truly solidified themselves in here. Again, I haven't lost too many men. Um, the numbers are pretty close. It's about 600 difference. And they've got a nice little defense to hold up here on their own. Oh, they're firing fire artillery. Where are they firing that? Oh my gosh, that was a really good hit, actually. They've got a lot of my uh, spears there. They've got a lot of these archers. I'm going to have to start spreading stuff out. I'm just hoping that they ca ca carry on missing. I'm hiding a lot around here. Just hoping that these buildings will shield me from the artillery. I'd be interested to see how many kills this artillery gets in the end. If they had a mortar, that would uh, that would be nasty. But it looks like the French are just getting ready. Oh my gosh, these sergeants are gold chevron. Jeez, wow. Um, I don't know how much money there was, but like <laughs> those sergeants are going to be hard to kill. Like that. Put it like that. Um, but artillery does the job. Artillery will do the job just fine. But yes, yeah, so you can see here, we've now engaged the Pavis line. I don't know if they're getting many kills. Um, but I saw that the uh, crossbows are starting to fall back due to my Akan archers. So uh, that will allow me to bring up a certain unit in a moment. And if you know me, you know what unit that is. First, let's enjoy a nice classic infantry match or clash. And now the archers are joining. Archers, get out of here. Get out of here, archers. We don't need you here. I think that's my... Uh, I think my artillery is now in place. And it's now firing. I think I'm going to take out these next towers. I've not got much ammo, so I'll we'll have to hope that this is enough. Uh, he... Oh... They're now trying to take out my artillery with their own artillery. Oh! That poor man! He just got sniped! Another man takes his place though. Yes! Cheer! Cheer on! Like, that man's life didn't matter. Fire the bombard. Go on. There we go. That's gonna hit it. Yeah, 60%. And these ones, they need a hit. Oh, <laughs> I think that's it. That's all the ammo gone for it. And uh, it's 84%. So frustrating. So the French one will have to come over and do the, the job. I think now my uh, archers are now falling back after just charging in will like a willy. Will nilly. Willy nilly. Oh dear. I can't pronounce the words today. But there we go. So my army is falling back. I'm realizing I'm not going to break through this Pavi spear line too easily. I'm starting to fall back units. We're actually kind of killing them. There's 20 of them already dead. On this side, I've got a lot more of my uh, army already spread out ready. 
And the French are already also engaging. Another uh, Pavi line. But I'm kind of keeping an eye over here. Just for what happens. It is a very nice little tactical move. The sergeant's also getting sent up. What are they fighting today? Order Swordsman High with some chevrons. They're actually a good unit. Another good solid unit. It is only tier 2. Um, against tier 3. But Order Swordsman High are actually pretty damn good. And here we go. Okay. So I've fallen back all of my infantry. Um, and I've sent in the boys... With the exploding bombs, the naf, the nafatoons, or the nafta throwers in this case, and they've reformed their line, have pavy spears. Oh, that is a mistake. They should have run. They should have given up this choke point. And let's watch from this angle. Let's watch the devastation that's about to happen. I'm giving the order in a moment, I think, for the nafatoons. But you can see, no crossbows, nothing to stop me from just walking up here and getting like point blank and destroying. This Pavi slide. Look at it. It's destroyed. Whatever there was is now gone. And now he's charging in. And oh my gosh. He got a really good hit though on my Nafatoons. Killing two of them. That was the response with the artillery. It was like, right. We're going to hit your men. Going to kill them. And that Pavi slide now is gone. And I'll just charge in and kill the last 47 of them. And they are shaking. They're already broken. And there we go. We can now move on. And now this... Pavi spear unit is compromised, and these swords are compromised. But the uh, yeah, the Rajputs are breaking now. I'm now running off with the uh, Nafatoons. They've lost another two men in that in that shot. Um, but they've got plenty of ammo left, so I'm sure we can get some more kills. We've got some crossbows coming up over here. Interesting to see what they're going to do. Are they just going to shoot the Culverine crew? I mean, the Bombard crew? Because if they are, they're out of ammo, so that's a good use waste of their ammo. But yeah, here we go. So it looks like uh, this Pavis unit now is going to get compromised in the rear with some angry, angrier Gurids. Here they come. It looks such a whip, such a strange faction, but they're actually one of my favourite factions. I've got to say, I do enjoy bringing them. The Rajputs, they're not, they're not cheap, but they're not expensive, and you can usually level them up a fair or like chevron them up a fair amount with. Uh, funds. And you can bring elephants and uh, nafatoons. And who doesn't want to bring elephants and nafatoons? And there you go. That Pavis unit is gone. They have broken at 62 men. That is like... Those units can usually break at like very few men left. But when surrounded, they, they're not a fan of it. We've got uh, more spears coming up. We've got minstrel spears. I think they're going to now defend this choke point here to save these two swords from uh, getting surrounded. Because they're actually winning in the sergeant's fight. Order Swords are beating these sergeants. I mean, it does help that they're getting, like, the uh, foot turk poles firing down on them as well. And what have we got? We've got some shock infantry coming up as well. Just to make sure these guys won't break. Or won't return. Gonna send some shock infantry in. Definitely a good unit to shoot with uh, crossbows. So I think uh, France, you can see, is sending up some crossbows now. There's Genoese. The famous Genoese crossbows. Yeah, this, uh, I was quite shocked. This sergeants with high, like late tier sergeants with one gold chevron are losing to high tier order swords with only two bronze chevrons. Insane. Definitely worth bringing more of these guys. And there we go. The sergeants again being sent in this very small depleted unit. They're not going to make any difference here, but it's worth a try. And look, oh, I just love the blood in this. So chaotic. Imagine, like, in this amount of blood, you'd be slipping all over the place in your plate armor. Also, at this point, you'd be knackered if you were an order swordsman or a sergeant. Maybe not as much a sergeant because you've not got as much armor, but an order swordsman's actually got quite a lot of armor on them. Or this high tier version of you'd be knackered after about five, ten minutes of fighting. Absolutely knackered. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the. Oh, all right. So the uh, crossbows are now actually trying to shoot at my Rajputs hiding around the corner here. Um, which I'm kind of okay with because they're in shield wall, I think. 
Uh, yeah, I think they're actually, no, they're not actually in shield wall. I like how my uh, bombards look in the wrong way as well. Just like, just shoot them, just take them out. But yeah, these uh, crossbow unit is just slowly sneaking its way up. It gets another couple of kills. There. I think I'm gonna send, give them the order to charge in. Um, and we've got a cavalry over here. We've got the electric guard. More worryingly. And there we go. So they're now shooting down some pavies on, as they were on a poor man dying there. And I think now, here, here comes the electric guard. So it's a nice little bait by Trier there. To get a charge on my, uh, on my Raj butts. And I think I sent it in the Culverine crew, crew as well. Yeah. So, uh, I'm I mean, it's a good chance for me to take out the electric guard. It's going to be hard, though. It's going to be hard. This is a very elite unit. And these Raj puts, uh, I mean, like any unit, aren't going to do well when being charged by cavalry. But anyway, sorry, I thought I was about to cough, so I was like, oh, I really don't want to cough, so I was like trying to stifle it. But uh, anyway, uh, we are back, and it looks like the French have given up just uh, attacking, generally. Um, and the sergeants are just getting peppered now. I mean, I don't know what they're exactly doing. I think they're looking for a way around. These Gentiles are trying to, like, we're going to go all the way around here. But they've got halberdiers ready, so well observed by the defenders. Uh, cavalry charging into these halberdiers. Yeah, it didn't end up in a lot of dead men and horses. That would not end well. But, if they could get Gentiles like, all the way around here. Like, yeah, cavalry here. Like, the gendarmes here. This is good. Like, these gendarmes could really do well against uh, the Trio of Pavis. I'm surprised. I actually don't know whether they just got some friendly fire there. Because that culverine fired. I'm not sure if it actually just killed a random gendarme. I don't think it did. Oh my gosh, we actually got a lot of that electric guard down. I mean, I nearly lost the Draj put, but I got some spears up. And there we go. The uh, Pavis are not going to make it, and those gendarmes are going to run them down. And that's good. I'm ha I'm fine with that. I've lost some Draj puts, but there's more to come. And I've got the Nafatoons, and I've got the Elephants. We're fine. And they're already falling back of the defenders to this final defense. And there we go. Another tower gone. Uh, I think Francis got plenty of ammo left on his culverine. Yeah, so he should have enough to take out all of these four towers. I think the gendarmes were debating about going down there. But th there's so many areas now plugged up with halberdiers. We've got elector halberdiers here. We've got more elector halberdiers here. We've got halb normal halberdiers for Jerusalem defending those two choke points. The real next area we need to break through is here. Um, I'm not really sure why Francis didn't just charge in here. These... Ministerial Spearmen, they're nothing special. His sergeant should break through them. It's not like the uh, swords over here. But I think it is a bit of a uh, slump now in the action. So I might make a cut uh, for you guys. And uh, I will rejoin you when it like starts up again. So we are back. It wasn't a long cut. But it was. Uh, there was certainly just a lot of uh, archer fire going on. But we have a unit... So I basically decided, uh, i basically give you the context. I set up this Afghan archer unit to try and shoot the halberdiers that were uh, defending here. And then a uh, dismounted elector knight just sallied out to try and catch the uh, archers. I then used this uh, spear unit to basically pin them in place. And I'm now firing into the rear of uh, these elector knights with my archers. Or I thought I was. I'm actually firing to something else. I'm still actually firing at these halberdiers. But... The Halberdiers came marching out as well, and the Rajputs are going to try and catch them before they can set up properly. Whether they've set... I think this is the fair enough, like, a good enough setup for them that they will do okay. But my archers firing to the flank will hopefully help. But really, oh, the gendarmes, oh no. The gendarmes are back and going to charge into the rear of these elect knights. It wasn't a great charge, in all fairness, but them in the rear might be enough to do the damage. We'll see. Yeah, my archers, I think, didn't do a great job. But I've now got uh, more Rajputs coming up. And they should help. So I'll allow the gendarmes to get out because these uh, elector guards will be fully surrounded. They are actually breaking. The gendarmes' awful charge was enough. Uh, only killed three elector halberdiers, though. Bit of an issue. But they are running low on stuff. Over here, they've been just merrily firing away at these uh, sergeants. A lot of them died here. 
can see there. Um, not much else happened. I think the French are trying to fire back with their uh, really elite archers, but then I don't know what they're firing at, but they're not, they've got an obstructive view. I'd certainly be shooting these dismounted hospital knights. But yes, oh, this is huge. This is huge. The halberdiers now are very much caught out. I mean, this unit's losing and this unit's losing, so who's actually winning? Oh, no. This John Darms into the back of the halberdiers. That is, that is not good. That will end in a, a lot of dead halberdiers and that unit routing, you imagine. So he got caught out coming outside. They thought there was a bold tactic to come and take out some of these units, but no. It was not. And they've lost a halberdier unit. And now there's gendarmes going off into the uh, pavis. Not a bad idea. But now we've got the uh, dismounted uh, electric guards uh, coming in. So... It's probably best to get those gendarmes out of there because those big axes will start swinging and start killing horses. Um, I'm quite. I think I take over from this because my uh, infantry should do okay against these guys, and certainly the amount that I've got here it should be enough to overwhelm them. But here we go, a downward charge as well. That's really nice. That'll chop. The, I think I'll take a pretty bad first hit. I hate this camera. These towers are an absolute nightmare. I do apologize, but yeah, I took a pretty nasty, like, first charge, but, like, after that, we should do okay. I'm setting in, oh, the gendarmes are coming back in. Why are the gendarmes coming back in? Well, I've got plenty of spears in here, and we've got plenty of swords. We should do okay. I think I'm going to get archers up here as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think, oh, we're getting archers over here. My Afghan archers are starting to focus down these halberdiers. Not doing a great job. We need uh, crossbows over here because they've got really good armor piercing. I don't think my uh, my archers have really good armor piercing, to be honest. Yeah, that's the view that they, these halberdiers have. They just have to look at their death or their potential death. To be honest, I don't think they've got to worry about too much. Those uh, arrows just flying off like no problem. They're now firing down at these uh, sergeants here. Like, the French were just being so passive. They're just not going to attack in here. It's like these ministerial spears are just not that good. They're also spears. So, like, swords should be spears. Like, and they're not pavy spears. It's more a concern. I think one more determined charge through here as well with shock infantry would be enough to break through this. And the French have got plenty of infantry and shock infantry left. They've got more over here. Um, I've still got quite, quite a lot. I've still got my elephants. We've got cavalry now with the gendarmes. Are going to come all the way up here. And I think they're going to go for a charge in here with these dismounted hospitalers. I'm not sure. I think they might. It's found a sneaky way around. If they can get the charge off these dismounted hospitalers. That'd be excellent. I was just thinking how many did the dismounted hospitalers were brought, but then they did bring the uh, regulated three. People never like it when you bring more than three shock infantry because they're they're pretty nasty. I'm not sure if the, these are also only tier two. So he brought mostly a tier 2 army to Jerusalem, so not a bad idea to be fair. Money uh, for defenders is always short. But they're actually falling stuff back. They uh, realise that we're pushing in other areas now and they need to start pushing stuff, like pulling stuff back to be used elsewhere. I am actually losing this fight over here. Not having a fun time against shock infantry. And order swords now. And these crossbows are actually getting an okay angle. They're not, not many of them are firing, but like... You can see from here, they've actually not got a bad, a bad angle. They can shoot at the back of my ranks there. I mean, even not even the back. They can shoot anywhere into my ranks. Just pick off a few guys. And that's not a bad, not a bad play. I need to really get my archers to start firing into the back of their guys. I'm not why I, not sure why I haven't. I think I'm dedicating a lot of my archers to just take out these halberdiers. But now they're setting up their pavis crossbows. And they're going to use their pavis crossbows against my archers. Which is going to be a lot more devastating than my archers against theirs. So uh, that's a good play again by Trier. And here we go, these archers. I don't know why this happened. I guess they're just nearly out of ammo to send them in. Um, but that's a free. U that's a unit you could use in that final defense. Uh, now the French is going to munch that up and take that. But really, the French need to carry on anyway. They're actually falling back. They're falling back. Of the uh, is Jerusalem. Again on this side, they're sending in some foot turkles. I guess. Ah, I guess their plan is to use the foot turk balls as a distraction to get the rest of the army back. That's okay then, that's a fair enough sacrifice. 
gets four units of actual melee infantry back to this final defense. Or to uh, defend against it. I don't know why they didn't hold here. They could have. These halberdiers are going to be okay here, I think. Oh, but this is going to be a good charge. These uh, shock infantry are going to catch the spear unit. That is unfortunate for Jerusalem. Nearly got this unit out, and now we've got Gentiles, and they're going to charge into the back of uh, those. Let's get the charge of the Gentiles. They're going to charge into the back of these foot turk poles? No, they're not. That's very disappointing then. What a waste of my time. We've got the French Chevaliers now. They're getting their first kills of the day. And really, like, this was, a ch this was an area that they could have attacked a long time ago, the French. And they would have been able to, like, take a lot more units out and down with them. But yeah, what, what else is going? Um, yeah, I am now breaking even more on this side. Um, sadly, the Rajput's not having a fun time. I'm now sending in... I've sent Rajput's in up here. Hoping that this would be enough. I was just... I think I was blocking this entrance. I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I was might have been blocking the entrance. And then the uh, hospitalers came running down on me. I was getting a little frustrated. This, like, little defense down here. There's so many shock infantry. They're sending another one up. Like, if they didn't need to... This other one's just doing just fine on its own. But I thought this is the time then. If they're gonna if they're gonna do that, I'm gonna send up my goddamn elephants. So it's time for the elephants to go up and do some damage. But Matchlock War Elephants. They've got guns, but why use them with their guns when they are literally elephants? You could just power on through these guys. So I think they're, yeah, look at this. Look at all they're sending now back down this route. They are really, really worried about these elephants. Order swordsmen are going in. More shock infantry. I guess they're just getting ready for the elephants. They're thinking, yep, let's get as much shock infantry as possible. Let's kill these elephants. But here we go. The elephant's coming in. Uh, it's not a very satisfying charge because, like, my infantry is stopping them. But these elephants are going to do just fine in here. Kill them all, kill them all. But yeah, if I take the hood off, it's now balance power. Well, actually, the combat is even. I'm now setting up my uh, general. I'm setting up more infantry. I'm setting up the Nafatoons. I'm setting up like all the nasty stuff into this area. I'm just literally going to try and punch my way through almost. I'm running out of stuff actually to send up here. I've still got three units of swords back here. Uh, most of them are fresh. I think one of them is a bit pretty bad. The French are now sending stuff over this way as well. Another, like, sally out by uh, the defenders. I don't know if this is on purpose, but it's a good time for me to take out two more units of swords. And I send, uh, yeah, I tell the French to go after it and deal with it. So I think we're going to get a good charge here. Or well, they're actually going to send out their uh, shock infantry to try and stop it. And the cavalry, oh! We got that just in time. The camera being an absolute, uh, well, we won't say what, it was, what it's being, but you know, you know if you know. Um, but the, yeah, the cavalry's now actually kind of stuck in here. Kind of a bit of an issue. It's going to charge, carry on charging. It's going into spears. My cavalry is now going to, uh, I think, take out these swords yet. Yeah. My general, this is. And there we go. That's not a bad charge at all either. And then my Rajputs, uh, oh no, my Rajputs, my Royal Papes are coming into the back. And uh, we should break that unit of uh, order swords but the cavalry's well gendarmes here are well and truly lost um this fight here with the elephants still having a hard time uh we are actually if either side pulls out i think in this one um they they die like if they just yeah oh and there you go i start firing now i decide right let's just mobilize the gunners on top you know so i think they're firing what are they firing at they're firing at halberdiers that are coming up Okay, so I think I must I must pull my elephants out shoot soon. The elephants must turn. Look at that man, he's so happy with himself up there. He's like, yes! I can hear the halberdiers though. They're set up ready. Maybe they're not yeah, they are gonna come in. Deal with these elephants. Not a bad idea. Nafatoons coming up. Oh, my Nafatoons I think are coming up ready to deal with the halberdiers. And both sides are actually pulling back. Both sides decided, yep, yeah, uh, why not? Let's pull back. 
But look at the devastation the elephants left. And uh, I think I should pull back my Rajputs now. Who knows? Who knows? We've now got a... Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, but this again. Again, they've got no archer support over here. So my Nafatoons are almost free to do what they want. The elephants are just coming back, getting ready. I think I'm setting up everything ready for when the Nafatoons throw in, I then go in. But yeah, these 26 men can cause so much havoc. Uh, yeah, I think Jerusalem's got all of his... Yeah, he's got all of his shock infantry over here now. Wow. He's that dedicated to getting rid of it. But here we go. Nafatoons. Oh, it's so nasty to watch. Look at that unit. It was it was full. That was a full unit, and it's down to 70 men. It doesn't even look like there's 70 there. A lot have got to get up, surely. But the uh, Nafatoons are going to fall back. And I don't know what's happening now. I think the, Na the Halberdiers are sort of like going to charge in. They might charge in. I don't know. I mean, that would have been a perfect time to send the elephants in. They weren't ready. But here we go. We've got like a, a slow march and charge up. And my Nafatoons fall back. Hopefully there's a... Uh, yeah, they're pretty safe back there. The elephant's firing again. But I'm kind of happy to let these two units break because then my elephants can charge in and get an unrestricted charge. I think I'm setting up the... Uh, the uh, yeah, setting up the Nafatoons again. Get another volley. They're all now committed in here in a big blob. Oh, there you go. They're breaking. Are they going to send the elephants in? Am I... I think they might. I think they might. They're going to have to. Because... Oh, no. They're falling back. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, look at this. this the hospitalers are chasing the elephants down. Look at this. It's like, run. Get the hosp... Get them. Get these little waddling gray things like you've never seen before. I'm now trampling na uh, Nafatoons. Which is an issue. These Nafatoons are in an issue, are in a really stucky place. They might need to get out of there. Yeah, they're, they're, there you go. The Nafatoons are getting absolutely killed. They're, they're breaking. 15 of them left. I do awful with my Nafatoons. I really should have sent the elephants in. The elephants would have been fine in there. I think. But now they're uh, in combat here. They should rally the uh, Nafatoons. They have done. The elephants now are fighting here. They're actually losing in these dismounted hospital knights. With the infantry support and elephants, these guys are uh, not got a good chance of winning. And here we go. So I give the order now for France. Basically, just get ready here with the Gentiles. And to get ready. I think France has started his assault on the other side as well. Or no, he's just standing still. They're just looking at each other and firing how it is. So we're fine to stay over here. So here we go. The order is giving and the uh, Gentiles are coming in here to flank. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that's what happens. That one guy overshot. That's what happens when cavalry charges into halberdiers. It's not a good sight. My Afghan archers are now turning around to ready to fire at these halberdiers. I then tell France to recharge because halberdiers turned around. And they got a devastating charge on these guys. These Gentiles are so elite. Such an elite unit. They might need to stay in combat now, but they'll be fine. The elephants have routed their first hospital unit. But all of a sudden, we've killed about three to four units of Jerusalem here in this one area. And they sallied out, and they possibly didn't need to. Those Gentiles actually are dying quite quickly. They, should, they shouldn't have pulled out, I don't think. But in doing so, they actually... Yeah, they didn't do too bad. 43 of them left. It's not bad. They could charge in again now. I think they're going to. Oh, no. Imagine fighting a, like a war beast from the east. And then you just get charged by some of the most elite cavalry in the game. I like that. A war beast from the east. Oh, there they are. Beautiful. They're causing absolute havoc. Apparently, they were like focusing them down. And they could just not break them. But these matchlock ele war elephants are actually really uh, like one of the most elite but, uh, variants. Like you'd think, oh, they're more of a missile elephant unit. But no. That does not matter. I was kind of not, like, I should have brought the uh, Nafatoon elephants because they would have been fun to bring. But uh, there you go. The hospitals are breaking there. So now I have a, th a free, like, route down here. 
I don't know if they're going to send anything back here, but I imagine they will. They've got some order swords ready. But we are now free to just march down here. I'm actually more committing down here. This choke point is really killing me. I cannot break through. Like, it's just look, look in here. Look at the sheer amount of defenders. Like... The def like, that would be enough, but then, like, this is just a joke. I mean, I'm actually getting a probably a lot of kills from all these men here. If I got my Nafatoons up here, this would be a big win. Um, but I've got all my archers here. They're doing an okay job. France, I think, now is about to make his first assault. He's actually going to try and break through these halberdiers. No, he's falling back. I think he's trying to just get... When the Pavis come really close, he's trying to just catch them out. But yeah, I think France is going to quite happily carry on shooting at the halberdiers. It's just, it's the uh, annoying thing. You like, you put, yeah, they're making the right decision now. They're moving the halberdiers. Oh no, I think they're going to move the halberdiers back. No, they're going to send down some uh, order swords. Probably a good idea. Send that halberdiers down to hell. Instead of like, or put, you put the halberdiers like behind like a building or like that building would be perfect. You then engage with the infantry and then you send the halberdiers in. A bit like what, um... Drusen did on that side with the elephants. You kind of do that again. You just have to wait until like the engagement started, not rely on the enemy just to go, yeah, I'll charge into your halberdiers. That's a smart idea. You have to like almost lure them into an engagement with some swords or something and then just go and catch them out. Um, but yeah, now I think the main push is going to come down here. We've got more dismounted electric guards ready. We've got plenty of Rajputs. These guys should be fine to carry on in the road. We've got cavalry. We've got elephants now. They're really dedicating a lot around here, though. They've got both their generals. They've got more halberdiers coming over. They're really concerned about those elephants. They really want to kill them off. And the cavalry, obviously. Um, but most of their stuff's now committed. And these pavies are getting absolutely focused down now, down by the Afghans. They're looking like they must have so little HP because they're so bloodied up. Apparently we've gained the upper hand. I thought we had it a little while ago when they fell back to the final defense. But final defense is always a... Uh, not always a... Uh, finish. Like, you, the defenders can pull it back. But look at this. This, I mean, uh, these, are, these choke points are really annoying to, like... Get a good camera view. Like the camera, like the angle is just uh. But there you go. You can watch. Like there's minstrel spearmen in there. There's order swords. There's everything. This is mostly Jerusalem. There's some trier swords in there. It's just disgusting what's in there right now. Um, we've got Raj puts now engaging. Let Electra guard at the back here. In the tree, there's just a lone couple of trees. These guys should probably actually. I, they might beat the Rajputs, to be honest. In a confined area, these shock infantry do okay. It's when surrounded, they don't do so well. Um, but I'm sure, yeah, it won't be long till the elephants uh, appear. Uh, no, they're, they're quite happy just to stay in back there. But you can see, like, losing decisively. Uh, crossbows firing down at the cavalry. Cavalry getting out of there. Very smart. But yeah, I mean, the um, Gurids can't bring any shock infantry. They don't have shock infantry as an option. I'm pretty sure. But they've got plenty of other stuff. So why would you need shock infantry? You've got elephants. And Nafatoons. And like, while shock infantry, yes, are very good at breaking through choke points. But if you have a unit that can literally blow up a choke point. I'd rather have that. It's more fun to watch. I think you guys would agree. You saw some of the, like, the devastation the Nafatoons did today. It was nasty. I don't know where they are now, actually, speaking of them. Um, they're over here. I hope they use the rest of their ammo up. It'd be a shame if they didn't. But the elephants are coming up. The general's in here now. We've got a general already. The electric guard sending in his general. Electric guard. The trier sending his general, which is an electric guard. But we have actually got through, so there is a little sneaky uh, area here we can now break through. We force them back with our numbers. Yeah, this cavalry won't do so well in there on its own. We better send in like some order swords. They've got well the halberdiers. Send the halberdiers in now. Yeah, here we go. It looks like the Gentiles are going to come in. I'm not quite sure why. Um, they thought it would be a good idea. The elephants are coming in, but it's a bit different with them. They're scary. They're scary. So they'll. Uh, 
they're basically just scare everyone off. Like, they'll be all, they'll all go frightened. I think the cab's trying to get through here. That area that I marked. Yeah, there you go. It's trying to get through. It's going to go after the uh, crossbows at the back here. Not a bad idea, but it's getting trapped. Um, in fairness, these units aren't going to be so happy because they are probably uh, very frightened. Yeah, the general is uh, wavering. Oh my gosh, he's already wavering? Okay. Uh, look, that's what generals, uh, the elephants do. They, they just scare them. There you go. General is dead. And he's shattered instantly like that. Elector guard now losing. Oh my gosh, they just focused on their own general. I think they might have. They might be gentiles. No, I think they were. I'm not sure. They might be gentiles, so they might not be. We've got Baron's body to guard now coming up. This is a tier one. He's not going to do so well, but he did get a good charge. Ran over a lot of elected guard, though. Came round that corner a rate of knots to that general. But I think the, these elephants surely will mess up the Baron's bodyguard. But I just realised, look at the tusks. The elephants. Look, they've got like, they've got blades on them. That is horrific. Imagine getting hit by one of those things. It reminds me of like the Moomer kill from Lord of the Rings. I didn't even realize that. Jeez. Yeah, that makes them a whole lot worse. Um, right, so the elephants are kind of stuck. They're like well and truly in there now. They're right at the front line and they're starting to die. There's the first one to go. I think at this point I decided that they've, they've done their job. Um, I'm now just going to let them die. Yeah, they're, they're starting to die and it's going to be too hard to get them out. I think that pulling them out would kill them. So let them just die and just get a few more kills. But, well, where are the Nafatoons coming? Oh, the Nafatoons are coming over here. Okay. Okay, I want to see the last Nafatoon threat. The elephants, I think, are about to die. Oh my gosh, there you go. Yeah, so that huge blob of infantry, of defenders... That's being uh, just sparsed out a bit, you know. Oh, the explosion's so good. That one missed. That's a shame. You can't waste a single Nafatoon. Got any ammo left? Oh, one volley maybe in them. Or well, certainly a, a few men. They are breaking. Look at that. Just because of the Nafatoons throwing their Nafatoons, their bombs, that breaks that infantry. Line. That was going to hold forever. And there you go. That last one throws and kind of misses. But yeah, there you go. The choke point is now go uh, gone. And now... Uh, that is probably good night, Vienna, for uh, the defenders. The elephants are still in there. They've gone mad. They have actually, they're now out of control. I can't do much about them. I'm doing a lot of damage to our uh, Rajputs in here. The Halberdiers are actually going to probably win this fight. So well done them. Yeah, that's how you use Halberdiers. You have to wait until this engagement is going on for so long. Um, and then the Halberdiers could just come swoop in and like mop up them all up. We've got sergeants coming up now. They're going to try and help the, the uh, scenario, but I don't think they would actually help. Look at this. Look at these elephants just trying to get their way through, but they're just going to end up just dying on the pikes or the halberdiers, the halberds. It just depends how long they'll hold. Yeah, and there you go. The halberds break. They lost their general. If they hadn't lost their general... Those halberds would have held for a long time. It doesn't help that they're being surrounded as well by Gentiles. And there you go, a close victory for the Gurids and the French. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So I was indeed playing as the Gurids. Um, I had a really fun time playing with them, I won't lie. Um, I got 103 kills with the Elephants. Um, they're not as devastating as I'd hoped. I hadn't, wasn't able to get any good rear charges. I think the best time was with the uh, like the Knights Hospitaller. Um, like when they uh, basically sighed out, and well not sighed out, but like came out of that choke point area and I could just surround them with the uh, help of the cavalry. My Nafatoons getting 124 kills. That's not a bad amount of kills for Nafatoons. I've seen them get more and uh, I've definitely achieved more. But they did okay. It didn't help that I lost half the unit as well, so they weren't able to throw as many missiles. Um, most of my Rajputs got like 199 kills. 233, that's pretty damn good. My uh, Royal um, PX got 132 and my general got 93 kills, which is not bad. My Afghan archers, pretty pants. Um, they're not great. I probably could have just brought them on with Rajputs, and that probably would have been a lot better than bringing Afghan archers. But they, uh, 79 and 73 isn't bad. 81 is also pretty good. Um, it's better than 70s. Um, and then we'll quickly look at the electorate Trier. Um, 
he brought a lot of... Uh, well, he, he seemed to bring a lot of... Uh, I thought he was going to bring a lot more Trey Swords, but he didn't. He brought a good a mix. His uh, Pavis just got killed. Uh, didn't help that they just got blown up by Nafatoons. His uh, Shock Inventory didn't do actually that great. They didn't, none of them actually got to 100, which usually for Sieges, Shock Inventory will rack up kills. Halberdiers didn't do great either, but I mean, one just got like charged in the rear, and the other one just didn't hold long enough. It could have done a really good amount of kills um, if it had um, not had been broken by the general. Um, his crossbow is actually the only unit to actually get into the 100. He's got 130, 128. His catapult getting 95, so that's not bad either. France, who's played by Aiden. Um, yeah, sorry, Trey was played by the drunken Norwegian. The drunk Norwegian. Um, and then we've got France, who's played by Aiden. 138 kills, 188 actually, sorry, with his French Chevalier. is even better. Um, and then we've got 106 with his sergeant. Some of them didn't do great, though, either. Some getting like zip. I mean, actually, these two are fresh, pretty fresh. Um, so no one got no kills. Uh, his 3E company got 143, sorry. Uh, and his cavalry, 356 and 289, where all these kills came from, basically. Um, so well done to his, him on his cavalry there. And then Dodge Gob, who was playing as Jerusalem, bringing probably the weakest of the four armies, but actually doing ra ra rather well, I thought. He certainly held them up for a long time. None of his units doing ex exceptionally well, but they just held up for a long time, which helped Drunk get quite a lot of kills. Um, but yeah, his best unit I'd say was probably his Order Swordsman, 69 kills. His uh, Foot Turk Balls getting uh, 61 kills. I thought he brought more archers, but he only brought two units of archers, surprisingly. Um, not a bad idea. His, and his Hospital, is, uh, sorry, his Hospital, his Templar is not doing so well. They seem to hold for a long time, but they just didn't get many kills. And his Hospital and Knights got 67. They could have got a lot more kills if those elephants hadn't been there, quite possibly. But if you've enjoyed, guys, then please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment to show your support. If uh, you want to see more 1212 AD, please do let me know. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.